This video is going to cover some of the interface enhancements and general enhancements inside of Gibbs Cam 13. Let's go ahead and jump right in. One of the things I like the most is when we go to open, we now have at the bottom the all files option. So you can see that we have all of our Gibbs Cam and any other files in that folder that are available to us to open. Here, you know, we have X sub T files, pair of solids, SolidWorks, whatever it is, it's going to show up there. So let me go ahead and open up this cover real quick. The next thing I wanted to show was you're now able to move this coordinate system down on the bottom. I call this a world coordinate system. You can move this um, in different areas on your screen. I'll show you how to do that. We come up to File, Preferences, and then we do Edit Appearance Settings. In the background tab, you can see draw axes, bottom left, top left, top right. I like top right because that's usually where I had my palette um, in the old interface. So the next thing you're able to do is let me go up here to customize toolbars and menus. You are now able to create a list of keyboard shortcuts. So here's a list of all the shortcuts. These are the default ones. I haven't added any yet to my interface, but this will list all the ones that come with that are standard with the Gibbs Cam installation and also any that you add. And then you could also print this list out um, and stick it to your desk or your refrigerator or whatever. So last but not least, I wanted to talk about um, stackable tiles. So you're now able to stack your operation tiles inside of Gibbs Cam 13. So you're able to do that using these little icons across the top. The first one is individual mode. This is just like we're used to. Each operation has its own tile. We double click it to edit it, bring it over into our process list. We know all this. The next one here is process mode. And what process mode does is it'll combine consecutive operations and they'll stack them together if they originate from just a single process. And they all belong to the same flow if you have an MTM machine. We have our roughing ops, one through 33. And then you can see our finish ops, 34 through 81. And then our drilling operations. The next one over is our process list mode. And what this does is this combines consecutive operations that originate from the same group of processes. So if I double click on this roughing one, not only does it open up the flyout and shows me all of my tiles, but it also shows over here in my process list that this stack comes from these two processes, so this process list. And last but not least, let me close this out, is our manual mode. Let me go ahead and unstack these really quick. Manual mode is basically exactly what it sounds like. You can just pick consecutive operations, right mouse button click, and say create stack. And then maybe we can create a stack down here. Maybe you want maybe all of your drilling together regardless of you know how they're in the process list or process mode. You can do that now inside of Gibbs Camp 13. Uh, we can see how much this really opens up and makes it a lot easier to navigate through your operation tiles. If you have any questions about Gibbs Camp 13 or the interface in general, please feel free to reach out to us via our website or give your local Gibbs Cam reseller a call. Thank you very much.